I think, uh, to be honest, and uh, I don't want to like point fingers, but if we are all being honest to ourselves, we would all admit that perhaps we've not really learned a lot of things from it, and perhaps sometimes maybe we don't do it on that scale. It's, we still have a lot of room to, to go when it comes to accepting that, as I would have said, when it comes to accepting that football, in as much as we are passionate about it, it's just a game. Yeah. And sometimes people that are involved in the game will make mistakes. And I've always said that. We wake up in the morning, we go to our offices, and sometimes we are allowed to make errors. Same way that a referee in the middle of a game, a footballer playing football, has that liberty to have a bad day at the office. I've always tell, I always tell people that, yes, we have the right to be angry. Like, we all get angry when things are not in our favor. But what you can't do is to assault any human being or try to do something that is inhuman. And for me, that is something that we've not grown enough to admit that football is a sport. And when the game ends, we come back to being friends and being loved ones. And for me, that is something that we've not learned enough as football fans. I think fans still see football here as win and you must win. Because I remember there was a time that, and also when it comes to comments that we pass prior to games, it's not really good. I remember there was a time I had a banter on with one uh, football fan of a football club that I won't mention. A referee was appointed and straight away he pulled up the referee's picture and started calling him names and seeing that like trying to create an impression that the referee always robs them when you play. You see, when you do that, you just let your fans assume that this man already hates us. And whenever he's in charge of our games, he will not perform more. Well. So even when he makes a, a right and a genuine call, because you have a predetermined mindset, it affects how you react. And because you also not understand that when you go and watch a football game and you are angry, you don't have to throw what you are holding. You know, we don't watch here, we don't even watch football with drinks and all that. In Europe where they watch football with drinks, with beers, we don't see them throw them that much. We buy two CDs pure water bottles and the least chance we get, we want to throw it onto the pitch. Even at higher level games, we still do that. Apart from that, another thing that we've really not worked on is our studio architecture mm -hmm. and also our safety and how we prepare towards big games. And, I've, and sometimes, it may be the reason why God has not let us get a lot of people in one stadium to watch football games. Because the way we manage our games is completely bad. For somebody who has been fortunate to be directly involved in the organization and the match day routine of an international game, like let's say the World Cup Finals, for somebody who has been directly involved and know the policies and the principles and the steps they go through before a football game, Look at what we do here, especially for big games like the Black Stars. Last time I was in Kumasi and I told a friend that when we are playing a football game in Ghana, it's too chaotic. Like, it's too scary. Like, when the game ends, like, everybody's running around. The way we structure ourselves so when we are at the World Cup, you saw how there's an entry point at least. For the least, there's an entry point and an exit point. So I'm, I'm, I'm entering here, I'm leaving here. That is one of the problems we have. So you see thousand people walking this way. A lot of people also walk in that way. Natural disaster may happen. That's why you don't have control over it. But if you have proper structures in place with proper personnel trained, well trained for it. I mean, at the World Cup, volunteers show up five hours, six hours before games. We were trained literally six months before the major competition. Every day there's a proper training. You watch our games here especially big games like the Black Stars. That's when we get a lot of fans come. Yeah. We watch Ghana, Kumasi Asanko versus House of Folk, big games, and look at it. And if you are somebody who has been exposed to high-level standard and the structure, you realize that we are very far away. And we are just one incident away from repeating the main life. If you look at how we do our things, we are sometimes just one incident or one pandemonium away from repeating what we see, we saw at the main life. Because we really not developed enough when it comes to planning for these things, yeah. when it comes to proper structure and training even personnel and even letting the fans understand that football is not a do or die affair. So for me, I would say that 
maybe we've not learned a lot of lessons and also we may just be one natural disaster away from seeing what happens at the main.